What are we ordering here? We're, we're ordering breakfast sandwiches and coffee. And this Tony Horton or Tim Horton? <laughs> Tim Horton's, not Tony. <laughs> Canadian. Tony Horton is a different guy. Yeah. Uh, two coffees, two mediums. Well, actually, pretty good. I haven't tried the coffee yet, but not too bad, Tim. We're walking down Old Fellow, Old Fellow um, tunnels. Old Fellow tunnels. Towards the tunnels. Yeah, towards the, the, the old railway line, and uh, it's just about zero for freezing. And I'm, I'm learning, uh, well, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. I'm learning Fahrenheit and Celsius, or Celsius and all the other Canadian terms. And, and look at our shoes. And yours. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have my laces <laughs> tied, so. <laughs> who's the out of place guy here and who's done this before? Well, the issue is Greg's freezing right now. Yeah, why is that? he comes from a colder climate. Maybe it's because I'm in Fahrenheit and you're in Celsius. I think our bodies are... are <laughs> no, it's are, like, yeah, I'm yeah. cold. <laughs> cold. But it's actually, I mean, I also made the comment that it's it's warmer here, much warmer than I figured. I was thinking there would be a little bit more snow, but but weird. now that we're in the mountains... We're in the California of Canada. This is, it's very epic scenery so far, so. And we're just getting started. One of the other things that I found out from Scott is this is where they filmed a lot of the uh, First Blood, is it? Yeah, First Blood. It was Sly Stallone back in the early 80s, I think it was. Yeah, this was the first one. So he jumped, he was on a cliff somewhere behind here. They were shooting at him and then he had to jump in the, in the river, you, I think. So. If you remember in the movie, when Sly's on, the, on a rock face and there's a helicopter with the sheriff flying above him, and shooting at him, and then he jumps off the ledge into I, a I tree. Do that, that That's right in here. Now. Yeah, I think the tree's gone, but uh, we'll find the ledge where he was hanging. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna you, have you to go back and watch that scene. You now. can recreate that. Yeah. I got it. We shall see about that. I don't have the right <laughs> shoes on or else I would. We're getting to the first tunnel here and it looks like it might be... Sorry folks, park's closed. Movie reference. I'm pretty sure you know what that is, but... Well, high hazard area. That's not good. So we've hit our first roadblock in Canada, oh, literally, and we were trying to get through to the tunnels to the trestles to get some really cool shots, but Greg's chickened out and won't go through the barricade that they put up. <laughs> so we're, we're just it's a challenge all of a sudden. We're, we're debating now whether to jump the fence and and yeah, take on the it out. take on the hazards, but we're. Uh, are we up to it or? I'm still thinking. Okay, <laughs> we're just thinking. I'm following your lead because you're from Canada. brought two chairs with so we're in the middle of nowhere we are in the middle of, middle of nowhere we have a road to ourselves here a road so here we are in the middle of uh, the Coquihalla Highway actually we're two-thirds of the way to we're about a hundred kilometers from Kelowna and that is in miles Greg 67 miles is that right 
Well, you're, you're getting you're getting somewhere close. in the somewhere in the 60s. Yeah, 60. I think so. 60 miles. Yeah. So we uh, we have been driving, and our last stop was at the Orthello Tunnels, and we're kind of that bit, was that was good that we stopped then because we got we had perfect lighting. Lighting was good. But there was one little drawback. They had closed the tunnels and we couldn't get through. But discussing it, we should have uh, pushed the boundaries. And, and no, we were looking through there a little bit, and, and then we both were blaming the shoes. It was a little slippery. I was getting cold, so I was about 50-50 if I wanted to jump over. Greg was but now I'm just thawing myself. out now. Like two hours later, he's just thawing out. and I'm way colder than you are. Well, I don't know why, but... I should be used to this, right? You should be used to this. You're, yeah, but uh, <laughs> look at but the shoe. It, we still have the shoes, but you can't see there. But we do have we do have some hiking boots in the car. We for, do. We like just got tomorrow. Gotta, tomorrow we got to get better prepared. So it's onwards and upwards to Kelowna, and uh, we're going to spend a day in the forest tomorrow. Yeah, hiking. I think we're gonna, we have a hike and maybe checking out some restaurants, part of Kelowna, but. I've never been it, to Kelowna at all. You've been there. It is wine country, but this time cool. of year, it's it's more like hot toddies. <laughs> I'll have a couple, of, a couple of those sound really good right now. Yeah. But so, yeah, that's the other thing that we we're talking about in the car is that we just don't want to kick ourselves if there's something that comes up, like climbing over that fence. We've been kicking within, ourselves within ever reason since. Is, um, even this trip could be an example where it came up and there was an option. Let's, um, it's very easy to just say next time and you know maybe tomorrow but once you kind of just go with it and stop thinking so much sometimes we too, should have just done it just do it so just do it it's kind of hard to go back now live with no regrets that's that's the bigger picture but it is a small fence we should have went over it. we should have we could have but Greg I don't know it, it was my fault blame it on me yeah blame so me. but what are your thoughts so far in Canada well the few things came up where one of them was the snow now that we have snow here but there was it's actually way colder at home yeah um, the differences in the you know the kilometers and the, the small little things that even when we stopped to use the, the restroom it was a washroom versus yeah. having to use the bathroom <laughs> well, and then we had the, the Tim Hortons we have we've been we've covered a lot of ground today we have we have but it, it is I mean this the scenery is I've it's kind of what I was expecting as far as the backdrop is really breathtaking but when you see it it just puts it all more into perspective it does it's every little corner was just tons of we don't even know where we are we turned off a little road off of the Coquihalla yeah. highway and maybe we should upload this video so someone can see it and they can come <laughs> save us true. just in case we had to drive a couple miles just so we could turn the truck around so <laughs> so it's been pretty fun but Kelowna is not far down the road and then we're gonna hang out and do some stuff there and so we'll see you in Kelowna. So check out this backdrop here though. This is, this is phenomenal. It's a little cold, but not too bad. Not too bad. We are crossing the floating bridge. Oh, is that? This is floating right here. Floating. Like right there? Like right where we're, we're driving right now. This is floating. This is water. floating. Yeah. With concrete. Yep. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you better quit now. When you're in Canada, <laughs> you golf in the middle of winter and you hold. Wow. Look at that dancing boy. Press those things to make oh. sure the handles come out, or to do it on its own. Sit down. Cool. I had my show up like last night to fix people up, and it's a really drunk, skinny person. It looks like there's no sugar, no fuel. Yeah. You know, the obvious sense. question always is like, what, what if you don't have a place to charge? To charge? I mean, it's can... impossible for our circumstance. You know, I mean, uh, the reality is that electric car chargers are becoming so common. 
like even the tiniest cities within the range that somebody would ever take one of our cars is going to have a charger. So every Tesla has this button in it. You touch it, and it'll tell you all the all the charging stations near you. So you'll this is just never hoop yourself. That's just Kelowna.